You are now live with me, G3, and tonight we have another beauty queen, and she is the sultriest, the sexiest, the most beautiful, Kylie Versposa. But before that, I want to thank all of my sponsors tonight. I want to thank Evian, my water sponsor. I want to thank Swatch PH for all of my time pieces and live with G3. I want to thank Bello Beauty, Dr. Vicky Bello. I want to thank Asian Eye Institute, and we are going to bring in... The beautiful, the sexy, the salty, the super social Kylie Versosa. I'm just trying to get a good because I am relying tonight on my Globe 5G. So let's see if we can bring her in. Ayana Oh my god! Mas ka ba G3, hindi ko kinaya yung cleavage mo at yung pa wind effect mo. Electric fan, electric fan lang yan, girl. Wala ka ba electric fan sa ba? I'm sure may Dyson ka dyan. <laughs> oh my God. Meron akong Dyson, pero naloko ako. Nag-enter ako kanina sa pa, pa-live mo. Sabi ko, oh my God, si G3, pak na pak. <laughs> Sino pinaka-cute for you? James Young husband, James Ila Santos, or Marla <laughs> Um, kill Fuck Mary. Oh, sige. Kill. Oh, my God. Hindi, kill. Ang hirap ano naman. Oh, sige. Huwag mo nang sagutin. Sino nila yung pinaka-cute? <laughs> Feeling ko si, ano, <clears throat> si, <clears throat> si James. Which James? Dalawa yung James. Ay, talaga ba? Yung, yung, ano, football or football. kata? Football. Ah! <laughs> What ball? Sinagot ko talaga, no? I'm oh so dead. Oh, my God, Kylie. Bakit ang sexy mo? Wow, talaga ba? Thank you so Uh-oh. much. <laughs> Hindi ko alam, pero you know, I really work out. Pinagtatrabuhan ko talaga siya. And a lot of cardio. I think, I think, true. I think the last time I saw you was in the banyo of Pixie Pig in like, parang victory party yun ng, ng show mo. And it was parang in Quezon City. Parang ano, birthday ni Marco. O parang ganon, parang ganon. Yeah. You have become a Fully fledged actress, actress ah. girl. Alam mo a lot. Very so very much. beauty queens transition into acting, de ba? Hindi lahat ng beauty queens successfully nakabuk transition into acting. I mean, Tita Glow obviously was the first, de ba? Maraming hindi rin nakabuk transition, but you have been able. I mean, I think the first time I saw you on screen was because I worked on this movie. It was on Casal. Tapos no, so, you know what? The first time we worked together was in Binibini. Binibini, Binibini pero the first time I was in 2015. True. I think you were the writer. Tama ba? Yes, yes. and the, your, jowa was super gu- your jowa was super guapo. <laughs> Gusto mo sabihin ko? Hindi siya kilala ni Jake. <laughs> Hindi siya kilala ni Jake. Nakabuti na lang. Malaya ako sa room or else. Ma- 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 Ang siya si Jake? Jake? Ang siya si Jake? Nasa kwarto. Anyway, the first time I saw you act was on Casal because I worked on that movie. And sabi ko, oh my god, your first scene ko lang nakita si Kylie super momol with Derek Ramsey. Tama ba yun yung first scene? <laughs> oh my god, hindi naman. Pero I think it was with Paolo or with Derek. Ah, si Paolo ba? Parang ba alam ko love scene agad. Is ko in fairness to Kylie? <gasps> Tama ba? Sa Casal? Oh my Kasal god, god ha, secret lang natin. Pero uminom ako noon kasi... Kasi it was my first talaga and hindi ko alam na i-shoot yun on that day. So sabi oh. ni Derek Ruel sa akin, Kylie, are you ready? Sabi ko, Derek, for what? Sabi ko, <laughs> sabi niya, oh my, you don't know? Sabi ko, no, Derek, what's gonna happen? Oh my God. Tapos inupo niya kami ni, ni with Derek. Tapos, ayun na. So I said, my nerves were like up here. I was like breathing so hard. Sabi ko, Derek, paano ko ito gagawin? But anyway, you know. We have to loosen up once in a while. Did you, what was the experience like filming your first love? That was your, was that your first movie? That was my first <clears throat> big movie. Okay, yeah, Star that, Cinema. Was, oh. Yes, that was hindi ko alam na ganun pala, kala ko kiss lang. Ganyan, kala ko kiss lang talaga siya. Girl, parang sakita ko yung acting mo. Parang, oh my God, si Kylie, like, really got into it. <laughs> Hindi kita mag-imagine girl. Imagine ko na lang. Like, it's like one of my boyfriends. Then, ganyan. <laughs> that was a fun thing. So, na- nakakakaba. Kasi hindi ko alam na dinala ako sa set. Tapos, binocking ni Derek. Sabi ko, oh my God. Talaga ba? 
Uh-oh. Talaga ba? Sabi ko, oh my God, really? Ayun. So, anyway, I, I, I really wanted to work kasi with Derek Ruel. So, true. Iconic. I, iconic si Super. Derek Ruel. Of course, no other woman. Everybody, you know, parang all the successful beauty queen stories that I know, that I've heard, diba? They didn't get it on their first try. Of course, I met you for the first time. In, can you believe it? We met in 2015. How many years ago was that? Like six years six ago? Or six or five or six. <clears throat> diba? Parang you were first in the batch of Pia. Tama? The first time you yeah, joined was Pia, the batch of uh, Pia. Pia won and I lost. <laughs> Oy, pero you're like top 15 ka. Nag top 15 ka. Not, ay, oh, sorry. Nag top 15 you're ako. You're like top 15 ka. Naalala ko kasi I was also, you were also in my, kasi may pustahan ka. <laughs> Sinabi talaga sa kandidata. May pustahan kami talaga noon. Parang sino yung mga ganyan, mga corona, ganyan, ganyan. Anyway, what were you gunning for in 2015? What crown did you want to win? Siyempre, when you join Binibini Pilipinas, you aim for the top crown talaga. Okay, so, Sam. No? <laughs> Oh my God! Girl, I'm really against the rest of the time. I'm really against the rest of the time. I love Sandmig Lights. They oh, are my favorite. Oh, correct. Oh, that's correct. I was buying for the top crown. <clears throat> so, of course, I was buying. Yeah, I was buying for Universe at that time. Oh, that was. Nung hindi mo na kuha yung Miss Universe, anong na feel mo? Of course, Los Valdez ako nun, di ba? <laughs> Wala talaga akong ano. Wala talaga akong crown ni Runner Up man lang. So, like, oh my God. Pa- How will I say hi to my parents? How? Parang ko ipapakita sa, oh my God. Ang dami pa naman bumaba from Baguio. Di ba? Parang isang bus. So, like, oh my God. What will I say? <laughs> Sabihin ko sa kanila, you did a good job. Ganyan. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero... Ayol, I took time talaga to grieve. Siguro it took me a few months to accept na parang... Pero yung guwapo good. mong boyfriend, yung guwapo mong boyfriend at that time, paano ka niya kinomfort? Si L. L ba? I don't say it tayo sa boyfriend ko nun. <laughs> paano ka kinomfort ni L? Hindi talaga yung kinada ni JK. I'm not sure. Pero how did he comfort me? He was yeah. actually happy. He was happy na... Natalo ka? Nalot-lot ka? <laughs> oh my God, ang sama niya. But he was very supportive after. Super comfort naman siya sa akin. It's okay, you're still my queen. Ay! You're still my queen. <laughs> Invento ka lang yun. Hindi ko alam kung ano sinabi niya. Such a long time ago. True. But of course, you, you came back with a vengeance 2016. And for me, you had the best winning answer that year. Sabi ko, wow! Kasi parang in, in my mind also, sabi ko, si Kylie will get a crown. I'm not sure if it's Miss Universe. And then when you answer that final question, sabi ko, ay, grabe, Miss Universe yung crown niya. Tapos naalala ko pa yung hair mo, nakaganyan ka. Nakapusod ka ng yeah. slight low, low bun. Naka-low bun ka, di ba? Parang ganon. And then you were wearing purple Francis. I have a photographic memory. Yes! Purple Francis Liberan, and then you were called Miss International. How did you feel when you were called Binibining Pilipinas International? Siyempre, I was, I was... Tinalo ko ng pink ni Maxine Medina. Sabi ni Maxine Medina, <laughs> pink! <laughs> Actually, nung ano, parang kasi medyo na sa sense yun na yung winner. Kasi palapit, when, oh. when the crown, when the answer is about to be called, or when the crown is about to be called, dumalapit na yung camera sa'yo. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. So sabi ko, nung binibili yung Pilipinas International, sabi ko, oh my God, sana magpalumapit sa akin yung camera. Ayoko pa. Sa kipula. <laughs> sabi ko, ayoko pa. Please wag ako. That was 31. Oh my God, it's me. Oh my God, it's me. So, syempre, nas- hindi naman ako na-shock, pero parang, nung, nung, Nasyak ako, tapos nung lumapit na ako sa, sa stage, <laughs> sobrang happy ko na. Parang Ooh. ito pala yung feeling na nananalo or nanalo. Yung ikakrown ka, yung andun ka sa harap nung stage, nung girls, na may confetti, alam mo yun, uh-huh. that 
something na hindi ko nakuha last year. 5,000 pesos Five, yun. Hindi kada ganun. 5,000 yun. Inaaral namin yun sa budget. Yung confetti blast, 5,000 yun. <laughs> Talaga ba? Pili ko naman. So, naka 10,000 ka. <laughs> ba? Sana dalawang pa-confetti. <laughs> Pero yun yung feeling. Sobrang saya ko. I was so happy nung na-crown ako. As in, genuinely happy. Kasi yun, yun lang naman yung gusto ko eh. Yun lang naman yung gusto ko. Gusto ko talaga ma-crown. Corona, corona. Ako, I thought that, honestly, I was there that night. I wasn't, was I working that night? I was there that night and I said, like, oh my God, si Kylie yung winner. Siya yung magiging Miss Universe. Uh -oh. Then you won international. So, huh? Why? And then when I watched your international pageant, so, ko, ah, for international talaga si Kylie. Kasi di ba yung face mo, sweet girl, ganyan, tapos nakaloban ka ulit. Tapos sabi ko, oh my God, six crowns for the Philippines. And then ang ganda-ganda ng speech mo, you talked about, I think you talked about culture, yeah. you talked about education, you talked about like, I think international uh, understand. Basta ang ganda ng speech. Parang it was very beautifully composed. Siyempre, inaral ko talaga yung Miss International. Ano ba talaga yung <laughs> Kasi per pageant, oh. hinahanap talaga yung, yung pageant, ba So, inaral ko talaga kung anong hinahanap ng Miss International. And, nag-wagi ka, girl. I became uh, one. I remember, like, during the time you were messaging, tapos parang feeling ko, kasi now, I for me, the... I remember, because, honestly, G3, during that time, hindi pa talaga uso yung mga team team, yung mga glam team, diba? So, talaga yung naghahanap, hi, can you help me? Ganyan? Oh, correct, correct, correct. <laughs> mga designers. Hi, I'm Kylie Versosa. I won Binibini Pilipinas Miss International. <laughs> Is it okay if I pull out some gowns from you? Uh -huh. Yan. Tapos magta-taxi pa ako papunta sa shop. Ako pipili. Ako mm -hmm. mag-uwi. Ganyan. One, each, parang each day naka-allot yung designer ko. Ganun, ganun ako. Parang sariling sikap. Naalala mm -hmm. ko pa talaga. Wala pang grab nun. So, taxi <laughs> talaga ako. Magta-taxi ako. Uh -huh. Mga damit. Ganyan. Tapos wala pang masyado glam team. So, siguro dalawang makeup training lang. True, and, true. And I know. remember, like, I think we were chatting. Like, I, for me, ha, now the most important issues, like, globally are, of course, like, I mean, like, climate change and mental health. And that was your issue back in 2016. So, sabi ko, wow, I have the times, diba? And that I feel like, because, like, one was very edge. You had the ability to, you know, I mean, like, look at the future and this is what's going to be relevant. This is what we're going to need to answer in the future. Mm -hmm. I, I, think that amazing, I think that amazing foresight was one of your skills. I don't think it was parang... When I thought of my book, see, I didn't think na ano kaya yung may isip nila in the future. For mm -hmm. me, because it was such a personal thing. Ito talaga yung pinagdaanan ko eh. This is, this is my story. This is what I went through. And gusto ko tong pag-usapan. Because I really felt there was a lack of information on mental health, on depression, on suicide awareness that was present in the public. So nung tinanong ako what I wanted to talk about in BBC, sabi ko, I want to talk about mental health. No, hindi ako nanalo, tinanong ulit nila ako, what do you want to talk about? Sabi ko, I want to talk about mental health. Yeah. Diba? Despite them, despite some people saying it's such a sad advocacy, bakit di ka nalang mag-focus sa environment? <laughs> yes, or like um, women and children. Ganyan. Sabi ko, no, I want to talk about, I want to talk about mental health because it's something, it's something very personal to me. It's something I struggled with, diba? Actually, finding out, Nung, when I was trying to find my advocacy, nagkakoy, yung my dad was trying to help me out. Sabi ko, Daddy, what's this term of like, parang dealing with depression? Sabi niya, I think it's mental health, Kylie. In 2016, kasi hindi pa talaga masyadong uso. Di ba? Hindi pa talaga siya sa uso. So that, that was like the beginning of, of mental, my mental health advocacy. That's true, and it's been very helpful because, you know, as far as the last year and a half is concerned, I mean, like, all of us have been confronted with that issue. I mean, like, remember, when you're in isolation so much and when you're forced to look at life alone and even with a partner, diba, parang, how am I going to keep my sanity with every uncertain thing going on in the world? Am I going to keep my job? 
uh, am I going to get sick? Is my family going to get sick? Are we going to catch it? Diba? It has never been more important. So that's when I say that it's really foresight on your part. What are the things that you've learned, I mean, throughout the past season of crisis to keep your, uh, I mean, mental state at a very stable rate? I think it's so important to be honest with yourself and just ask yourself what you really need at the moment. Do you need time away from the people that are bothering you, that are toxic for you? Do you need time to work out? Do you need time to better yourself? It's the perfect time to be honest with yourself. Ano ba talaga kailangan mo? And self-care or self-help isn't like a one-fit kind of thing. What will work for me won't necessarily work for you. So I've try to parang i think you're supposed to try to find what suits you and what i found for me was working out exercising you exercise a lot diba right? it yeah. makes me feel better it gets my endorphins running for me it's a form of therapy i run every day and i feel i you know i, I feel a lot better after a workout second day beauty, beauty and brain ka daw tama naman isa lang naman yung brain beauty and <laughs> beauty <laughs> Secondary na yung magpapaganda. Pero syempre, importante pa rin yun, di ba? Oo, oh, importante yun. I've been pero asking... Ako, kinahanap I've ko been... talaga yung workout. Like, I cannot no. go a day without working out unless sobrang busy ko that day. Yeah, and I, I've seen you and Jake work out together. I've seen you work out alone. And you know, I've been asking a lot of my guests who are, you know, part of a couple during the pandemic. Kasi di ba the pandemic... This crisis have either brought a couple closer together or like made yeah. them drift apart because like nobody imagined like even if you're coupled even if you're single but when you're coupled but you never imagined I would spend like twenty four seven with this person nonstop for an unlimited period of time and when you are with somebody that you love like with Jake, de ba parang Ano yung naging experience? Was it something that brought you closer together? Or was it something... Of course, we see your photos. We see both of your Instagram posts. Alam namin na parang, oh my God, itong dalawang to, super sporty, chic, glamorous, and everything. But what is it like to spend most of your days unlimited time with your significant other? I would really say the pandemic brought us closer. Parang, I agree with you. And dami talaga, dami talaga either nag-make or I think the pandemic either makes or breaks a relationship. A couple, yeah. It just brought us stronger. For one, I think because the, because before the pandemic, hindi same yung mga taping schedule namin. Although we started on the same show. Hmm. Diba yung, same yung taping schedule namin. Tapos pastardos, tama ba? Pastardos. But after that, hindi na nagkatugma yung taping schedule namin. So, medyo nagkabisihan. Pero during the pandemic, sobrang saya ko. Kasi I was able to spend time with him. <laughs> oh my God, ilang na ilang mo. Happy, oh. oh my God. Tayo lang. It's just you and me. <laughs> Paano nag-start yung love story <clears throat> niya ni Jake? Uh, <laughs> wait lang. Para... <laughs> wait. Um... <laughs> Na-stress ka, girl. <laughs> I think it started not on the... We were friends na kasi before. Nag-work kami sa Panday. Nag-work kami sa Panday, diba? Pero Ay, medyo... Events, diba? Nakikita ko yung sa, kayo sa mga events. Oh, and then Panday. Yes, in Panday. Pero, but I think he got my number or my Instagram. Pero dinedma ko siya kasi... Oh. Hindi ko... Kasi ano, parang hindi naman seryoso or... Saka may boyfriend ka, di ba? Parang may boyfriend ka na matanggap. Oh. And I have a boyfriend then. So, when hindi na nag-work out, yung relationship na yun, Jake was there. Jake was there too. <laughs> Bakit ka natatawa? <laughs> Asa na yung guy? Nandito pa ba yung guy? Di ba, afam yung guy? Parang afam yung guy. Nakikita ko eh. Nagpunta kayo sa bazaar na. Nalimutan ko na yun. Sobrang... <laughs> Like, so far in my past. I mean, like... Far in my past. Oh, my goodness. So, oh, like, Jake was there. Jake was there. And then... There as a friend. Comfort me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, I'm so mad. But to come... Jake was there talaga as a friend. And, parang... Ah, okay. He's a nice guy pala. Ah, okay. Sobrang... 
generous, mabait siya. Hindi lang sa akin, but to the whole set, to the whole crew. Tapos physically, okay. Physically, impression mo sa kanya physically? Kasi he's taller than you, di ba? Kasi yes. he's tall. Yeah. He, he's, he's a little bit taller than me, yeah. Kaya mo mag-heels? Like, binibini ng Pilipinas heels? Binibini ng Pilipinas heels? Heels. Pero okay lang. Kasi hindi naman ako mabinibini ng Pilipinas heels. Correct. Mas sneakers okay. ka, no? Fairness. Sporty ka, o. Oh. Oo, oh, sneakers and stilettos. Hindi ako ma-platform. Oo. Oh, oh. so, oh, tapos na, nung, nung na, na-realize mo na, ah, parang si Jake. I mean, like, ganyan. Kailan nagbago yung mind mo? Siguro when we started hanging out, tapos, tapos parang, alam mo, when you hang out with someone, tapos parang, parang namimiss ko na siya. Parang namimiss ko na siya. Pero <laughs> chikahin mo, man. Parang namimiss ko na siya. Bakit ko siya hinahanap? Ganyan. <clears throat> pag hinahanap mo siya, pag hinahanap mo siya, I think this is very empowering for girls because girls are not, like, I mean, like, girls of the past, so parang, oh my God, the power is not mine. The power is with the guy. Like, if, even if I miss him, I have to wait. The ba? Like, for him to express. No, I really believe, I really believe what about you? It's the power in the relationship. Like, yes. Hello, you have, have yeah. girls Holler. need to hold the power in the relationship, but you have to make the guy feel like they're holding the power. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, nagbigay na ako ng relationship advice. Oo, oh, tama, tama. You have, to, to, no, you have to be on the steering wheel of the relationship. That's true. Para sa akin, naniniwala ko sa'yo, Kylie, na ang babae ay nagdadala ng relationship. Exactly what you said. Ang babae ay nagdadala ng relationship, pero hindi nila pinapaalam, pinapamukha sa lalaki na sila ang may hawak ng steering wheel. ba? That yes. is a great and a powerful balance. And it is, you know, parang parang ano talaga siya, kailangan ma-master ma- mo yung skill na yan. So, like, even if you miss him, even if, you know, you're longing for him, how would you control yourself? And paano mo pinipigilin siya? Parang ayoko siya i-text, kailangan mo una siya. Ako, very, ano ako, yung self, paano ba tawag doon? Parang yung self-control ko is Uh-oh. very strong. And siya, <laughs> your worth. Diba? Girls need to know their worth. Kayo dapat <laughs> Kasi Mab- si Kylie, sabi pero sa inyo ha, si Kylie versus, eh, nakakasama ko yan pag ano, like, kanimbawa, dati may clubbing pa ngayon kasi wala nang clubbing eh, like in Revel, ganyan-ganyan. Parang oh. yung mga guys, lumalapis ako parang, can introduce me to that girl? And si Kylie parang makilala, si Kylie parang, ganyan! Sobrang pihikan! Sobrang pihikan ni girl! As in, ganun siya. Unattainable. And then all of a sudden, like, Jake, of course, I love Jake Quenka. Jake Quenka is my friend. It's parang naging like, couple sila. It's parang ako sabi ko, okay, I understand the match. I understand the match. But of course, di ba, parang that was a match na parang yung mga tao sa showbiz, okay, naiintindihan namin kung bakit nangyari yan. And when it happened, di ba, parang, did you feel that it improved how you work as an actress? Kasi syempre, Jake is a very good actor. Parang, hindi mo rin matatawaran yung talent ni Jake. Kasi ako parang ako talaga pag napapanood ko si Jake, parang oh my god, mind blown, di ba? Like, ever since he transferred to ABS, he has been an excellent actor. Yeah. Super. I can say na parang, without Jake being in my life, I wouldn't be this kind of actress I am today. Parang, ang laki ng influence niya sa akin, sa buhay ko, especially in my craft. I see the way he's so passionate about acting. And parang, ah, okay, that's, yun pala yung kailangan kong ma-achieve. And when I work with him, ah, okay, ganito pala yung kailangan kong na-level to reach this kind of of craft or this kind of, alam mo yun? and excellence, yeah. Seniority, parang I look, parang, ayun, I really, really, ano yun, put him up in a pedestal with regards to acting. Oh, like, look up ka talaga sa kanya. Like, Sobrang na-inspire ako sa kanya. And sobrang idol ko siya doon. To put it in... Pero, the... pero Kylie, I have to say, kasi diba when I've been working in the industry for so long, and when I see like uh, like an actress that debuts in a film or in a show, parang alam mo, ah, meron to, or wala to. And when I saw you, parang meron to. You were able to film a movie during the pandemic. Diba? Yeah. Parang nakagawa ka ng movie during the pandemic. And you shot it by yourself, di ba? Parang kayo ni Jake, magkasama kayo ni Jake, di ba? Yes, yung love lockdown. 
Correct. Paano mo ginawa yun? And what was the experience like? Sobrang, sobrang kakaiba yung experience. Mm -hmm. Pero this was the time na parang, when I got to finally work with Jake, ah, okay, I kind of need to step up my game. Kasi this was one of my first projects after Los Bastardos, na umarte ulit ako, parang dun ko na-realize, okay, I need to step up my game with regards to acting. Pero with regards to... award-winning si Joa, di ba? Oo, at saka nakaka-pressure. Eh, sobrang ganda <laughs> niya, di ba? Sobrang... Woo! Di, oh my God, di ko siya maabot dati. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, wow! Pero in acting coach <laughs> talaga ako. As in, ano na siya? Boyfriend, acting coach, director. Ganyan. Down. Pero it was, it was a good experience. Na-experience ko din. Doon ko medyo na-experience yung dami pa lang that goes on behind yung camera, yung sound, yung direct. Dami. Sobra. Pero, and then, you, and then you had a very, very, you know, promising commercial release. Love the way you live with Sian. And of course, Alex, how can you go wrong with a trio like that? Sian, Alex, and you. Diba? Parang it was a film fest entry, tama ba ako, if I remember correctly. Yes. Was it a film fest entry? Entry. But we were so lucky na nabili siya ng Netflix. Or Netflix wanted it to make, wanted to make it a Netflix original. So, You're a Netflix star, ka. Parang kang Sandra Bullock. Oh my God! <laughs> Nakita poster ako ng Netflix. Every time lumalabas ang mga pinipicturean ko. <laughs> Oo, totoo, totoo. Ano yung feeling <laughs> na... Even, even when... True. Ano yung feeling na even when the pandemic hit and you were supposed to have a theatrical release, but you made it to streaming and no less than Netflix. The first time you saw your poster, your name on Netflix, how did it feel like? It was so surreal. I never... Siyempre, for me, Netflix is such a big platform. So, Super! But, uh, to see my name there, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like beyond my dreams even. I think I need to make new dreams. But, again, but it's just beyond what I expected or even dreamt of at that time. Because sobrang happy na ako na MMFF eh. Actually, gusto ko nga mag-MMF float noon eh. Para... <laughs> <laughs> yun yung <laughs> yun yung pangarap din ng mga artist sa totoo <laughs> diba kasi MMF is such a big deal so sobrang happy ako tapos nung sinabi Kylie it's not an MMF anymore sabi ko ha huh? what where's it gonna be Netflix oh my gosh very wow. <laughs> ba of course, diba, like I said earlier, parang beauty queens like normally transition into the world of entertainment. Kasi diba, parang saan ka pa with so much acclaim and so much exposure, diba? You are now the starring role of your own movie, Viva Max's The Housemaid. And of course, I was talking also to Ronald, diba? I was all... Also, to, sabi ko, parang sabi ni Ronald sa akin, parang, oy, mag-subscribe ko sa Viva Max. Oh, sige, sige, ganyan, ganyan. Yes, please subscribe. And then, <laughs> and then you <laughs> told me earlier na parang, oh, you have to download uh, Viva Max. Ganyan, ganyan. Viva Max has been, Viva has been very, very aggressive in terms of, you know, the migration to digital. Yeah. I think what the pandemic done effectively is to really, it sped up the process to the migration to digital. And, with you having movies on streaming, and now you are on the starring role of the new Viva Max movie, The House. May hindi bagay, kasi syempre, para pag nakita mo si Kylie, ako parang ang impression ko kaya is sobrang social. Hindi yan pwedeng maging housemaid. Hindi ako papay na maging housemaid si Kylie, but you are the starring role of your first movie, The Housemaid. Tell us about the movie. Oh, it was... It was such a different experience. Because the housemaid, it's a totally different character from me, and it's a totally different role from what I'm used to portraying. Mm -hmm. It's totally very deglamorized, halos walang makeup, and it was actually shot during the pandemic, during the height of the pandemic, and in in less than two weeks. Wow! So, or in two weeks. But what I love about this, it's a Korean remake. The original film is a Korean remake that pumasok sa Cannes Film Festival 2017 or 13. Alay, parang laki nun. So parang, oh my God. Nung in-offer sa akin, I was a bit hesitant kasi parang, 
Siyempre, I don't want my first film to be too sexy. Alam mo yun? I don't want my first film to be too sexy. So parang, I, I really hesitated. But siyempre, I also asked Jake's advice. Boo, what do you think? Is this a good film? Sabi niya, ang ganda niyan. Do it. I'm like, are you sure? Okay. So parang, oh. okay. For Jake's blessing. I guess it's ka, pero yung sa trailer, may naka-black na na panty. <laughs> <laughs> diba sabi ko, oh my god, hindi niya notice ko naka-black siya na panty. But you are part of a cast that involves Albert Martinez, Jacqueline Jose, yeah. Luis Delos. I mean like, these are very big names. I mean like, Jacqueline Jose is a con, a con best actress winner, di ba? And then Albert Martinez. And then you are the starring role. Congratulations. Very, very deserving, Kylie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in ten- so, ka, Thank you so much hindi talaga. Ka, like, Hindi ka baguhan o Marte. Like, I've seen your oh film. So Hindi ka baguhan o Marte. And I think that you are really made for the screen. You're made for the oh small God. screen. But even oh more that, you're made for the big screen. And when I was watching that trailer, sabi ko sa'yo kanina, di ba, parang yung stoic and then sensual. Parang the balance is very, very tricky. It takes a lot from an actress to really, really master those nuances. Yung mga units mo, magandang units mo. And I'm so glad that you are given this vehicle. Where are we going to see this? We'll be able to see it on Viva Max starting September 10. And guys, it's only 149 pesos. Kaya subscribe na kayo. Sobrang <laughs> sulit. Binenta, di ba? Sobrang oh. sulit. To watch the whole library of Viva films from their oldest to their newest for for only 149 pesos on Viva Max. So it's so exciting. And I'm so lucky na yun yung binigay sa akin na supporting ka. Sina Tito Albert, sina Miss Jacqueline. I love sina... ka! Sobra, sobra. Sabi ko, oh my goodness. And I really have to step up my game. Yeah. Diba? So, swerte ako na we had at least a year to prepare kasi this role has been gi- was given to me Los Bastardos period pa. Wow. Sorry. Bastardos period pero nagka-delay and delay tapos nag-pandemic pa. So, I was able to get enough time to prepare. Tapos yung cast, diba? Nag-iba pa. But I ended up with the best cast and sobrang honored ako to work to be even just beside them acting or the first time when I na excited si Miss Jacqueline. Oh my God! Parang <laughs> I'm not worthy. Minikchura <laughs> 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 talaga. Sobrang in the zone. She said, "Oh my God, minikchura mo." Ganon. Minikchura. In fairness, na may ka naman. In fairness, na may velka. Kasi siya nito the way they crafted the trailer. So I see Kylie, no malaban and stuff like that. Di ba parang Kylie is really, I mean, like, the ba, parang you are, you know, at the cusp of being, like, uh, an acclaimed leading lady, and it rightfully so, because this is, this is such an interesting movie, and this is, you know, really the new normal, because, you know, we don't have a theatrical release. Of course, you have been affected directly, because of Love the Way You Lie. We all know, like, for all of us who work in the movie industry, we don't have theatrical release. For as long as you know, like we know, I and tell them though. It's... That's true. That's true. And then, like now, we we really, really, you know, adapt, and we really have to, you know, migrate our craft into the things that are allowed by the government and the things that yes. are allowed, in, you know, in the new normal. But I'm so glad that you are thriving in the new normal, and you're able to, you know, achieve like a starring role and stuff like that. Is acting, can you say now, like, with full confidence that acting is your future? I really hope so. And I, like, desperately want it to be. I really want to be, like, the best I can. And I'm going to do everything, talaga. Everything I can to be the best I can be. Because I definitely see this in my future. And, you know, it's a craft that I really want to be the best in also. That's true, that's true. And when you look at your movies and when you look at the movies of your colleagues and you look at the movies that are, you know, successful internationally, what is the one role that you wish to portray with Jake? 
Ooh. Actually, alam niyo na mga boss ng Viva. Kasi, Kinabi ko na. Guys, hindi gusto ko. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm still filming a few movies after this. Pero, Ang alam, dami ng a few. <laughs> Kay Romarachada. Oh. Wait lang. Pero yung alam, yung alam talaga nila na gusto ko na maka-work is si Jake. Oh, pero, di ba? So, I would love to do parang medyo, kailangan medyo may drama with Jake. Hindi siya babayag na. Oh, <laughs> At least, yeah, ka- heavy drama, either rom-com, no, sorry, not rom-com, pero parang drama, romance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parang, pwedeng, ano siya talaga, dra- action drama. Kasi si Jake may action, action factor din siya. Tsaka ito parang feeling ko kaya mo rin. Kaya mo feeling rin, diba? Kaya ko rin. Feeling ko kaya, kaya ko mahal, rin. Mahal, 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 athletic ka rin, di ba? Parang, of yes. course, di ba, parang you have been so fortunate to have been constantly working during the pandemic. You have a love life during the pandemic. You have been What? so blessed, di ba? Hindi naman kasi lahat, parang during the pandemic, nabigyan ng ganito ka naming blessings. When you look back at your year and a half, di ba, when you see the, the many milestones that you were able to create on your own and with your partner, and it's just so amazing to see you at this stage and you have been able to achieve all of these things with all of these restrictions, you really come to think about, you know, like the things that are really meant to happen for you, di ba? Parang Kylie, beauty queen, tas naging movie star, tas naging starring role, and ganyan, ganyan. Parang everything is lining up for you. How does that make you feel that even at a time of crisis, you are thriving? I honestly just feel so grateful. Parang, I would really consider myself a grateful person. So every time that something good happens to me, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. You love talaga sinasabi ko, thank you, Lord. Morning and evening, thank you, Lord. Ganun lang. I'm just... Really, so grateful for everything that's happening to me. Shabby didn't come with, it didn't come so easy. But I'm just so grateful, and I feel so blessed. Na everything is happening despite despite what's going on. That's true. That's true. You're really, really one of the blessed, the the lucky ones, and stuff like that. And of course, diba, very, very recently, Bini Bini returned, diba, For after a year long absence, you were there. You were a judge. You had a wonderful question. You are our last Miss International, right? Our sixth Miss International. And we have a new Miss International. She speaks very highly of you, Hannah. I was able to interview oh. her a few weeks ago. What do you think our chances are, I mean, in terms of the Philippines winning our seventh Miss International crown in the person of Hannah Arnold? I think she has a strong chance. And I have to say, when I returned to Binibini, when I really felt like, my home. Parang... Homecoming! Di ba? Parang homecoming. Sa parang bahay ko yung Araneta ko. Oo. Pero bahay ko yung Araneta from the first time and the second time with all the kuyas there. Di ba? Pero when I when I saw Hannah that night, she was already a standout. She was already shining. Parang she had a different glow to her that night. And that night was her night. It was really her night. And if she could just bring that to Miss International, because she's already already perfect as she is, for sure, mananalo tayo. Seven, diba? Parang pang seven natin account. She wants to ask for your help when I talk to her. Of course, you're going to be very generous enough. Of parang course. Kasi it's a sisterhood. It only, parang it's a, it's a sisterhood that very, very few Filipinas know the experience of. Parang it's a very exclusive feeling. And we can all just imagine how great it feels to be able to have that achievement for the country. Especially at the time when, you know, Pride of the country is very, very, you know, parang current. Parang everyone now has a very, very specific kind of nationalism. Kasi nananal tayo left and right. You're sort of three medals. And then it makes us all think about all the individuals that gave, you know, honor to the country. And of course, you are one of them. And that makes us truly grateful and proud of you, Kylie. And it makes oh, me make you. so happy to see you, di ba, parang expanding your horizons and being successful in acting. And when I see you, genuinely, when I see you act, so it's very natural to her. It's second Aww. nature. And it's something, di ba, it's something that you are meant to do, di ba? What are your dreams? I, and I ask this to all of my guests. Like, 
coming out of the pandemic, when we finally return to normal, what is the dream that you have for yourself in terms of being an artist? The dream of, you know, attending a premiere night and seeing all of your fans there and watching the movie with everyone maskless. What is your dream for your future when all of this is over? I definitely want to have a theatrical right now, no? I definitely want to wow. have a theatrical release for. I'm so sorry, mo, magbubum ano ka, magbubum ka or I'm so sorry, mo. Depende, very ano ako. Eh, kasi sa housemate, de ba sa housemate? Ano yung susuot mo if ever? Feeling ko mago white ako. Antare virgin of purity. Feeling ko mago white ako para pure lang. Wow. True, true, true. Pero yun, I really want to have um theatrical release. I want to, syempre, I really want to see my fans and a lot of them are here right now. I want to say hi to everyone that's watching. Kalina pa sila nag-jeje, ano? Kalina pa sila nag-gaganyan. Sabi ko, umayos kayo, ha? So, watching now. So, thank you so much for joining and for supporting. And, um, yeah, I just, what else? My dream talaga is to act internationally or to attend like a festival internationally sobrang dream ko talaga yon and maybe in a few years the i can really aim for that but right now i'm just focused on building my skill set here kasi alam ko naman na marami pa akong matututunan ngayon marami pa akong pwedeng gawin here in the philippines before before going abroad the ba if ever pero That's really a dream of mine to also represent the Philippines in, you know, a, a festival, a movie festival. Oh, syempre Miss International ka, so dapat ang next international, a Queen International. Kasi syempre Miss International ka, 'di ba? In terms of prof- personal, 'di ba? Syempre those are your professional goals. In terms of personal goals, I mean like how long have you been with Jake? Ang tagal na rin, no? Long ano talaga siya? Yeah, actually mag si three years na yata. Oh my god. Three years. three years na yata. I think it's been two years and more. Grabe yung pandemic, no? It feels either parang long. dog years. Parang dog years, di ba? Grabe, parang nag one year kami dito sa condo. <laughs> <laughs> What are your personal goals? What are your personal goals for yourself in terms of your relationship with Jake, in terms of your life together? Siyempre, you know, I want Jake to be to be to There, <laughs> I really, you know, I really want him. Na, na, na talaga, na, na he's the one, de ba? So hopefully, if everything plans out well, yeah, definitely oh, okay. with him. What is the best part about you know being with him in this time of uncertainty in the world? What makes you wake up and say it's going to be all right when you wake up next to him and you look at him and you see that he is somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with? What is the best part about like seeing a future with Jake? I think Jake is very supportive, and um, you know, you. <laughs> I guess from experience, and you've been in a relationship na hindi supportive, but Jake is very, such a supportive person, and I'm lucky enough to have someone in the industry as supportive as him, who understands the craft, who go through the same problems you do, de ba? And to be that supportive, sige lang, go lang, kahit, kahit, you know, especially with like, You know, after problems, he's so supportive, and he wants me also to to succeed even before moving on to that next step in life. That's so sweet. I think for someone to watch you and support you and see you succeed, yeah, I mean, without any selfishness, is really the best, you know, manifestation of love. We are going into a third lockdown, de ba? Parang wala na namang alisa ng bahay, de ba? What are you looking? forward to the most in at least the two week period of lockdown and what can you advise to your friends your fans your followers who are a bit you know anxious about the coming third lockdown and they really don't know where life is going so two part question so what are you you know looking forward to and what can you advise to all of your fans and followers who are going to find it a little bit more difficult i really not looking forward to this lockdown <laughs> I'm 
looking forward to this lockdown. Ko rin, Kylie. Well, can I imagine ko rin, oh. I'm not looking forward talaga to this lockdown. I'm trying to find a way out of it. But, <laughs> if ever, kasi parang dito lang talaga kami, you know, I really advise people to just take care of themselves. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, whatever makes you happy. Ako talaga, I... In therapy ko during the lockdown was a lot of running outside and a lot of working out. Kahit YouTube, YouTube lang ako. And that really helped my sanity. Journaling also helps me a lot. You know, watching my favorite movies. Just, you know, being so gentle with yourself. Kasi this is such a time of uncertainty. Na nakakagiba talaga siya. Nakaka-frustrate siya. Oh. It's okay, matatapos din to, madadaanan natin din to. But, you know, just hold on a little bit longer and, um, yeah, madadaanan din natin to. Just this take care. This too shall Tama, this too shall pass. Ba- Bakit daw sa bazaar cover niyo, ikaw lang daw yung nakapanty? Gusto mo daw manglamang or... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Bakit daw ikaw lang yung nakapanty? Sila sa lahat, sa kanya. Ka- Bakit? Gusto mo daw ba manglamang or ikaw lang talaga <laughs> parang... <laughs> Then, nung lubas na yung meme na yun, sabi ko, oh my God! Sabi ko, sabi ko yung stylist ko, sabi ko, si Adrian, o. Oh. Oh, nung shoot pa lang, sabi ko, do you have other options? Ganyan lang. <laughs> do you have ad- other options? Lahat! Do you have other options? Sa point na nainis na siya, oh my God, ano ba to? Pero, <laughs> do you have other options? Kasi ayoko nga magpanty. Pero, Pero girl, alam mo, kung may magpapanty sa apat na yun, ikaw talaga yung mga... Hindi ko nakikita magpanty si Megan, si Pia, or si Angelia. So, ay, si Kylie talaga dapat yung magpanty dyan, di ba? At sa isang layout, dalawa kayo ni Pia nakapanty. <laughs> <laughs> Pero girl, sa apat, alam ba ako magbaborkado talaga kayo, ikaw talaga yung nakapanty. Nakikita ko, ganun talaga. And I respect that about you, na parang in a, you know, in a layout, sort of beauty queens, and they're all wearing Versace-inspired dresses and platforms and stuff like that. You will be the one that will stand out in a panty. That's why I wanted to talk. <laughs> to be fair, hindi ko naman goal mag, mag stand out. Sobrang ano lang ako, grateful ako na kasama ko si Pia, si Megan, diba si Angelia. Sobrang happy naman ako. Sobrang happy naman ako. Pero syempre, kailangan natin lumaban. Laban pa rin. Historic. Historic. The panty is historic. The layout is historic. The memes oh, are going to be Team. It's going to be eternal, and I want to congratulate you for all the achievements. Thank you so much. I want to thank you also, Kylie, for giving me an hour of your time. You know, when I ask you, you're saying, yes, game, 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 game. I want to wish you good luck on your movie, The Housemaid, your, your solo movie, your solo thank star, you. your title, Hopper oh, Star. I want you to, um, like, uh, for the last time, invite your followers, your fans, all of us that, you know, have nothing to do in the next, you know, few weeks. Kasi feeling ko abot na September eh. To watch <laughs> your movie on Viva Max in September. Hello, Ronald Arguelles. So, guys, to lahat ng nanonood dito, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. But I also want to take this opportunity to please watch uh, my first ever starring movie starring... Mr. Albert, si Kuya Albert, or Tito Albert, si Kuya Albert Martinez, <laughs> Tito Albert Martinez, Miss Jacqueline Jose, Luis de los Reyes, um, Elia, the kid there, and of course, me, the housemaid. This coming September 10 na on Viva Max, guys. For only 149 pesos, mag-subscribe na kayo sa Viva Max. Sobrang sulit niya, and you can watch an entire filmography of Viva. The, the whole re- library of Viva. The Thank you so much, Kylie, Mr. Saza, Miss International, Joab, J. Cueca, the only panty wearer in the oh bazaar cover. You are a superstar. You are a queen forever. And you are an actress in the... Ma- best actress in the making. Oh my God, that is my dream. Thank you so much. Thank you talaga for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I had so much fun. Did you have fun? Oh, Ed, <laughs> hindi ko na feel yung one hour. True. Can you diba? Thank you so much. And I hope, like, you most, you make the most of this um uh, upcoming lockdown and say hi to Jake for me. I'm also a fan of Jake. I'm a fan of Jake. I'm a fan of you individually. I'm a fan of you as a couple. 
Thank you so much and good luck on the movie. Thank you so much. Don't forget to watch, guys. The housemaid, Kylie Versaza. It's so ironic, but she's the housemaid. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Thank you, guys. Good night. Bye.